the Pierre Virgin. I yeah. actually go by J. I'm part of VJD, VJD Music. That's why that's why my production uh, stuff is. Um, I'm an audio engineer. I, do, I study that, uh, and I do music production. That's pretty much what I do. So mainly like behind the scenes stuff. So this is very this is very weird for me. At the time, was it like your first project that really you released? Pani niya. The first project it was very weird. And uh, now, more the same. But then on YouTube, rather than remix it, I'm saying that like the English part, like a cappella or the remix it. That was. when i was 13 13 mm. 14 ago but my first major project i think was um, starboy's album that was done in 2014 maru pravi and the full album produced by about the dance there pila manne vittu vittu engenga pona main beveri thisayilum ondra naam sindu main ulaka kankali kai kootu nindu main anji ko patta kunanga kenjinadu malla aniyaya kodu makke kattupattadalla urumaye ketrundu கிடைக்கும் um even when you get a degree with this type of industry just because they're on the freelance than saying them so ninga mm-hmm. bala veseringa balathukku ungala projects varum so that's that's the only difficult even with the degree ninga veendu paakra isai kalanjar avangala patti solla mudiyuma actually when I, when i started first i was a keyboard player yeah. i wasn't i didn't do production i was a you know instrumentalist and up uh, same with him one of my favorite producers was scott storch he's one that did like candy shop lean back and all the you know those hip hop even he did that the piano stuff for still right so our uh, youtube work with you know how he plays and his style you can hear uh, you can hear a little bit of his style in the stuff that I do now as well so one of one of the best producers that I know that I look up to to today Scott Storch but he went down like a really rough path and he like you know did some stuff we can talk about that later on but it's it's not something that I'm thinking of going down he spent like Five million or something on drugs and blew all his money, you know. But that's you know that happens to some people that can't take, mm-hmm. you know, what they get from being you know popular and making making an industry, which is very difficult. And you know, some people do go down that route, but it's something that comes with what you do. In the Uda Kathuri la pating na, ipa nerey per vande depression agatam sari, drug kadi ka agatam sari. Ida noki bore the kana reason inna vai recommendi nenge na na keringe. it's a it's a very difficult subject to talk about and uh you you know you're you're in front of so many different people especially when you have like a following you know you you try to keep up that image and in order to keep up that image sometimes you do stuff which you are not very comfortable with doing but other people expect you to do it so then I you know in the tamil industry it's not that common just because the angada industry when it's very young and it's very new so but once then nare per in our music they put on that dance or photography they put on other than saying but like when you look at the western and like the uh, the culture in america it's very different and like i think the best example is um little pump doing gucci gang he's 17 years old mm. and you know it's it's about stuff which you know you talk about the tamil industry you get slap 10 years ago munadi pathinga na ella kalaignargalum idu oru passion ah than kondu ponavanga but ana ipo vandu pathinga na barraakal ellame idu oru business ah than vandu paakranga adhilum success succeed aagranga இத பத்தி உங்களோட கருத்து என்ன ஐ திங்க் ஐ திங்க் இஸ் a great start uh, just because அவங்களால தான் நாங்க இப்ப செய்றோம் and uh, the problem is with um, stuff like that everything costs money nowadays so even to do like a music video which might seem simple will cost quite a bit um but yeah non non start on the body was Vernon G Raj Bhavan MC Sir those were the guys that were doing stuff like con- you know consistently and pavanga uh, paakum bodu a major artist from the order track or varshath the order track dance iranga because you know music video scene and other all the production they all cast them so on that then but can you slow it in mundi vandu part seranda part mattum dhan seidu potu youtube la porra that river nation la porra or something idla porra and ipo vandu periya production so if you take a look at um, one good example is maestro so or vaathe le inda every song that is done has been big production and that's why among them it would take a really long time to do that production and or ka seidu on the level reach panna everything has to be consistent so pin the orca said what pin thirumba keela poyala so that's why it's very difficult for new artist uh, to reach that level and do consistent stuff so that's why another than there are gaps irukku ungaloda work panna aakkaliliye ungalku pidicha artist na yara solluvinga i got three people in mind 
ஓகே ஒன் ஆஃப் தெம் நான் வந்து ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணது அவரோட தான் ஸோ ஸ்டார் பாய் எம்சி ஸ்டார் பாய் ஏன்னா ஐ திங்க் ஹீ டிசர்வ்ஸ் அவர் வந்து இன் அண்ட் அவுட் டேப் சிங் so he he does bang tracks and he goes out for a while then he comes back so i think he our our under our under you know people people need to like actually you know give him some credit because you know our under like he released the album fully independent no money no nothing nanga uh, bande i think ninga 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 nanga vetrivani studios la every every saturday nanga anga poi anga dhan recording so in puri studio nu illa appa this was 4 years ago so nanga ellam other than start pani dan inge vandirukken so star boy and me we we work together on that next up uh, probably madhu from cp so our every time studio ku vanda will be a banging song the song will be epic so our other two projects irukke i can give you a little bit of heads up hopefully uh, but yeah he he always impressed me on the melodies his hooks is always banging story our vanda cuz he's cuz he, he he does art so other than he he's a visual person so music video can ever have in the mind la irukum adhu pora dhaan ungalukku vandha music la irukum and the third person is probably have to be kurji kurji you know he was a flutist and now he's a rapper singer and that guy Uh, so normally my you know you can't there's so much you can tell about him you know his his mom and his grandma are both sangeetam teachers or something right yeah and but uh, you know he can do the carnatic stuff he can do the rap he can do the singing he can do the flute as well so he's like a multi talented person future la neenga work pannanu nu nenikira artist avangala patti solla mudiyuma adukana kaaranam adhaiyum sollunga enak dream vandu you know one day with raj bhavan but i don't know where he is right now <laughs> i don't think anyone knows where he is but raj bhavan you know tell you you know back in the days vernon ji and raj bhavan partner they let him go for us can i say rangan inkringalo Hello. Uh but <laughs> yeah, uh our other version na it would be one of my dreams. Ungoloda studio um ungoloda veetla than irukku. So pathinga na nere artist ellam vande nereya work vishayama vandu poittu irupanga. So idha ungoloda parents eppadi eduthukolluvaanga nu nenaikringa. Uh I mean every every time I come over amma ka par varanda. So usually she will vande yeah or then ja kala because uh, because it is at home and the studio is at home so i don't get anyone to just come in there because again this is this is where i live right so but hopefully one day if i have a, my own actual studio yeah i mean i'll be open to anyone coming so right now it's very restrictive so not just with making music i think you know but just as a job itself because you know i'm not as a freelancer you can only do so much stuff um But yeah usually I I tend to work with the same circle of people right now my friends or whatever um and parents are cool that uh I'm going to go there or tell you because I am mom you know kind of in the day or other uh but yeah usually it's it's fine ninga avala idir paathu kondirukku edaacho or projects adha patti konjam solla mudiyuma uh but actually right now these guys just ivanga vandu netik da announce pannuvanga they're doing an EP it's IFT um <clears throat> and IFT have been doing some good stuff and uh, you know the guy that's producing it Jerome his music has always been good so i think <laughs> it's it's funny right now because like the two people that are doing quite a lot of stuff without bragging i i would say it's like Jerome and i we we doing like you know it's i think we're a similar age group as well and we're doing that so people can see that all oh, these guys are the same age and they're doing some good stuff and yeah the album is something i'm really looking forward to i'm not sure how many tracks are going to be on it but like from the stuff they've released this year i think it's been like three or four projects this year right already it's feb and they've done so much stuff already so i'm look, really looking forward to that funny because like i get bored of my projects really quickly because 
I have to work on them every day so uh, at a uh, break at the proper time I'll get excited again so a lot of projects on the music videos don't say that so now when the part to say don't know any people and I'll never listen to it again once the music video comes out I'll listen to it because that's when I get excited I was like oh yeah the the individual is the car pretty good so right now I mean I'm always I always get excited when I have to work with Madhu because um I'm going to concepts and videos are always great and kind of uh, his editing and his cinematography is just on point. So, yeah, next track was Madhu will probably be Bodyguard and that's like a club scene it came from out there one there MC Kiran the Abbot in the one there. இனி வர போற கலைஞர்களுக்கு உங்களோட சைட்ல இருந்து ஏதாச்சும் சொல்ல ஆசை பண்றீங்களா? Right, so if you're watching this and you're an up and coming artist and you're really young, um I would say just do what you do right now um because if if you keep on doing what you're doing one day you will get recognized it's so i know it sounds very very cliche um saying that you should practice all the time and what not but like if you're really on this and you like put an effort into this you will get somewhere the only problem is now is that everything is going to cost you quite a bit cuz like when 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 i started or star boy started when we both started at the same time we didn't have to spend as much for like studio time and what not because we had to like ask people who has got microphones and what not. no one had like studios or whatever it's just in like one room or a microphone and that but now there's you want like book a studio you know so many studios around you want to get professional stuff and because of the quality of production going higher um it gets really difficult for younger people or especially in school to work with um work with anyone that is because you know everyone's asking money for features or productions and recordings and that's just because you know the industry is getting bigger and we can sort of make money from it and i know i've been banging on about money but again this is this is a business and um if you if you go into like music business and you study about it, you will know that you know a lot of stuff you have to pay for even like putting songs out on spotify or itunes you have to pay for it yearly and you have to sign up for like prs and you have to pay for that and you have to sign up to musicians union and pay for that and all the stuff you have to do just so that you no one nicks your music basically so you know copyright and all that stuff so that's the reason why we charge and again you know if you if you see the studios it, it's not free getting all this equipment and that's the reason why we charge if i mean if i if i could do it for, if anyone could do it for free i'm pretty sure they would because it's encouraging young people and i think you know the creative arts it is something that people should get into just because there's so many opportunities and i think especially for um in the tamil industry i think especially for like female rappers or just female singers in general that's a massive market because if you look at it, like ev- everything is just guys right now and it gets sort of boring because it's the same stuff repeated so if like if you're if you're female that's into rapping or singing get in touch with and you know, any producer and they will be happy to work with you just because there're not that many of you guys out and if you get it share it with people 2018 la ungaloda plans ungaloda projects adha patti edaachum solla mudiyuma na plan potta usually work out pandre illa but na you know I go with the flow type person um but yeah i mean hopefully we are really we are planning to do a few things there are random the projects that are in the year you know I've got, i'm fully packed with projects that's always good because it keeps me busy <clears throat> and it keeps my mind busy which is always good uh and uh, in the future we'll have to see how the projects go and or the project one da bro then we'll see how that does and how how they put it on parts of that matter projects kill themselves so big shout out to z light films for having me on Uh, Tamil like I said I can't my Tamil is not that good <laughs> but hopefully you guys understood what I st- said and not too angry at me for not speaking in Tamil <laughs> so <laughs> yeah thanks for watching guys um, you can see and hear my stuff in the future real soon and yeah have you know enjoy enjoy the next video <laughs>